Hey everyone, I'm Amy and welcome into Book of Magic. This is where we tell our stories in a journal with various mixed media techniques, including painting, collage, and writing. And for today, I'm going to share with you this really fun activity. Uh, we're going to make pockets and we're going to make them out of faces. You may or may not know that I have referred to myself as a pocket hoe. And what I mean by that is that I would do anything for a pocket, a journal pocket, and I would, I can like get excited about creating a pocket out of just about anything. And so I wanted to share with you this easy process that you can take and make your own. And um, I've also got some collage links down below if you want to use my collage images. And um, yeah, let's just get started. Let's head, let's go over to the art table. Right now for this first page, we're making a pocket from this face, which is available in a kit in my Etsy shop. And that kit is called Sacred Feminine. And I'll leave the link below in case you are interested in that. And then these two butterflies, these are also in a kit of mine. And this kit is called Fall Vibes. I'll leave the link below for that. But you can use any any butterfly image that you find in a book or a magazine, or if you go online um, on Pinterest, you can print, um, you can download photos there and then print out whichever butterflies that you like. And we're gonna use this three by five note card, which is flimsy. It's not the greatest quality, but it, it works for now. You could use any paper for this. Um, a more, a thicker cardstock or Bristol or watercolor paper, anything that you want for this part. And I want to mention that I printed these out on, let's see, it's 28 pound premium printer paper and it's from Staples and I, I print them out at Staples right now. I do have my own printer here, which is a laser jet printer, but I don't have the greatest paper. So I would say that the paper that you print these out on makes a big difference. And this, the one at Staples, which is premium and 28 pound, it kind of has a little bit of a, a like a glossiness to it. And um, you can, it the ink never smears when you're working in mixed, be, mixed media techniques and painting over it. It's just, it's a really good quality paper. So um, yeah, I just wanted to mention that. The way we're going to start is by painting a background for our page. And I'm going to mix a color. I want kind of like an olive green. And so I'm going to use a little bit of black and a lot more yellow. And I need quite a bit. I'm gonna fill this page. So I'm gonna mix enough that it will cover my whole page. My palette today is this plastic, um, like a mini cutting board that I got at the Dollar Tree. It's working fabulously. And when I clean it, I just kind of soak it in warm water or warm soapy water. And the, the paint softens up and then I scrape it off and then I scrub whatever else is left. Scrub that off after. Okay, we have our color. Now I'm just gonna paint my background. And just in case, I'm going to stick a page uh, protector page under here so I don't get paint on my other pages. This is just printer paper. All right, I'm back. I gave that a second coat and I blow dried it. And now we're, we're adding the face. A little bit of a neck 
uh, to the page. And this is going to be a pocket. So we're going to glue it as if it's a pocket, which means we'll be gluing along the sides, filling, gluing all of the neck and along the edges up here. So like in a U shape so that we can stick something inside. And the glue I'm going to use today is Fabri-Tac. You can also use three in one, which looks just almost exactly like this. Um, I like this because of the drying time. It dries really quick. And I like to use this with collage that I know I'm not going to paint over. So if I was going to paint over this, I would use a totally different type of glue. And that would be the um, matte gel medium. And that's for another video. And I will definitely show you that. But since we're not going to add any paint, uh, anything to the face, this is perfect. So I apologize for if it gets loud and you can't hear me. I've been trying to make this video all day and there's tree trimmers outside and they stopped for a good little while. So I started to record and now they're starting again. Maybe they went to lunch and now they're back. So as you can see, I glued in a U shape and I glued her neck. I'm gonna place it towards the bottom edge So next we're going to use our three by five note card to create a, a card that's going to fit down into our pocket. And the way I'm going to do this <clears throat> is I'm going to flip it over and I'm going, let's see. I want to make sure it's within the width of the head here so that it fits in. So I'm just going to make a mark. like right inside of the edge. And then for the length, um, I'm, I think I wanna have it sticking up out of, <clears throat> <coughs> excuse me, out of the head just a little bit because we're gonna need to glue the butterflies on top. So let's have it stick out about an inch and then I'm gonna mark it like almost to the bottom of her face, but not all the way. So that's my two marks and it's not precise, but let's see, it's a good place to start. And then if it doesn't fit, we can always adjust it. So I'm cutting there, I'm cutting here. So let's see if it fits in. it does and I think that's good so it fits in and we're gonna use this side of it to face outward and I have some of my background color left over and I'm gonna paint paint that over it if you ran out of background color, you can just mix it again and try your best to get it to look as close to the background as you can. Okay, I'm gonna blow dry this really quick. You check and see that it fits in very good. And what we'll be doing now is gluing our butterflies on and I want to glue them and kind of in a staggered way. And I do want them to overlap her hair right here. I think it's just a little bit too high, so I'm going to trim it. So 
like that. And then I'll just place the butterfly where I like it. And gently press down on the card. And I just want this butterfly to be like on the tippy tip of the corner of this card. So I'm just gonna put a little glue there. Leave it there for a couple of seconds. And I'm gonna make sure I'm not gluing it to the back of the page. Can lift it up and out of there a little bit. I'm gonna press down. And write something here. I really like how that looks. Now, of course, you can decorate and write. You can add words, um, more butterflies to the back. That might be really cool. Um, I would say if you're going to add more in the back, make them smaller. <clears throat> that way they seem like they're in the background and these that are bigger and the face is bigger, it's, it's here in the foreground. You could also uh, carry out her shoulders here. I just wanted this to have kind of a messy grungy kind of look and sometimes when I use collage images and I want to blend the neckline into um, the clothing I'll want to make this make the neckline interesting it's getting to be springtime here right now and this green color that I've used kind of reminds me of spring, so I'm going to be using these words here that say spring ritual. And I will have this and other text um, collage sheets available in my shop um, towards the middle of or towards the end of March. When they come out, I will put the link in this video. And if not, just please check over at the Etsy shop. And it's really fun to find your own too. Um, some magazines that I recommend would be um, Magnolia, um, any of the Stampington magazines, what else, uh, the Oprah magazines, uh, Breathe, Flow, you can find these at, um, Barnes and Noble bookstores or in Hobby Lobby or Michael's. Sometimes they have them there. Or they're, they're at the grocery store sometimes too. Yeah, I like it. So I'll just glue that in. And then on my note card, I might write um, one of the, like my top spring ritual that I want to do this year, which I'm not sure what it would be yet. It's going to definitely have to do something with cleaning or organizing. 
or it could also have to do with going out to see the wildflowers in bloom or picking some flowers to start putting them in the flower press because that's always fun. I don't know what you can put your... Maybe you can write something new that you've never tried before as a ritual on your note card. Okay, so that's page one. That's if you're going to use collage sheets. Um, now I'm going to show you page two, and this is if you don't have collage sheets and you just have your paper and your paint and um, your own drawing skills and your supplies. So let's get started. We're just gonna freehand ahead and I'm using the three by five note card. You can use any paper that you want and cut it down to like a smaller size that's gonna fit your journal. I, this is how I map my face out before I get started. I just lightly draw these shapes and I make it kind of really sketchy and scribbly. When I'm drawing illustrated faces, I like to keep the eyes pretty wide set. Maybe we'll make her looking to the side over here. I have a portrait drawing hack video if you would like to see that. It's how to draw small portraits like this one, but make them look more realistic. And um, that video, I'll link it right here. Um, you can follow that video to create your face for your pocket. Or you can just freehand like me. Because sometimes it's just really fun to freehand and like not worry about things looking realistic. these blending stamps. Sometimes they have a little tail on them. Let's cut that off.
Hey guys, just jumping on voiceover here real quick because my gardeners got really loud outside. But I'm, I'm using the charcoal pencil by Generals. Um, it's soft charcoal and it's just a little added element to give us some depth to our faces. And it's water soluble, so when you touch it with water, it's going to smear a little bit. Now, I'm using this 3x5 note card, which is uh, not the greatest quality of paper. It's super porous, so whenever I touch it with water, it just like absorbs everything that I'm adding to it like instantly. So it's not really smearing a whole lot here, but I, I do enjoy just a little bit of dark smeared look and I'm just giving her some hair a little bit of a hairdo and I'm gonna keep it short short and sweet and then I'm also gonna to touch it with water in my brush and I really like how this looks I'm just going to give her a little bit of eye color with the green from the previous page. And now I'm going to add a little bit of my Neon Red by Apple Barrel. And I just love this color. To me, it always adds like just the right amount of color pop. And I'm doing this really messy and I just, just having fun and trying to be loose. Super cute. Um, let's see. For this side, I might try some blue. I'm gonna play off the blue in this butterfly and I'm gonna create a blue background over here. I'm gonna use this ink, Amsterdam ink in primary cyan blue and I'm just going to put it straight onto the paper. I am using the Book of Magic Painter's Journal and this is made with Bristol paper and it is perfect for using any kind of paint and ink in your mixed media um, endeavors. So, let's see. Oh, yeah, it's so pretty. I really love having it like dark in some areas and then really light in some other areas. So, I'll wipe most of it off and then I'll just go back with water. Wipe it off, trying to get a really light, light blue. Yes, very beautiful. And now I'm going to blow dry this and come right back. Okay, now this is dry and I wanted to show you that with the painter's journal, if you're using watery paints like watercolor, gouache, inks, you will get a bit of buckling like this, but it's easily um, bent and flattened out. And especially if you paint again on the back side of it, you're going to even the paper out and um, 
just do a little bit of bending it back and then you'll have your paper flat again. Okay, so now let's glue on our face. I feel like I want to give her like a long neck just because of the way the paint is right there. Trying to give ourselves as much pocket space as possible. So I'm just going right around the edges. leaving that top edge open and we just press her down just hold it there and we're going to do the same thing again with another note card we're going to measure out the width of the head And you can, you know, experiment with this. And we want it to go, let's see. I want it to stick out a little bit. So I'm gonna like put it up higher than the head. And then I'm gonna mark here. We'll cut it this way. And also this way. And I'm going to see if it fits. And it does. It's kind of tilted, actually. And sometimes that happens. We can work with it. If it's tilted, maybe just kind of wiggle it a little bit down further. And that's going to work. And now I'm going to use the same blue ink to paint this so that it blends in with the background. All right, this is dry now. Our butterfly has a fold in it. <laughs> okay. So... Again, I'm going to check to see if it fits in there. And I thought it might be fun to try like a flower from a book. This is kind of really big, but um, I thought it was nice. Sometimes I find my flower images in books and I get these books from yard sales. Um, thrift stores, sometimes the libraries have sales. Um, yeah, and there's some really neat books that are like just about flowers. This flower is called a toad lily. They bloom in late summer to fall. Their wild colors and spots manage to attract pollinating insects active at that time. Yeah, they're really bright. Um, my daughter's name is Lily. So I was attracted to this image a little bit more because of that. And you'll find once you start looking for your flowers or your images that you'll be drawn to the images that have special meaning to you. And sometimes you have no idea what you're looking for. You just have to start looking in the books and then whatever jumps out at you that reminds you of something. You just act on that start cutting it out. Sometimes you'll cut out a whole bunch of images and only end up using one. Okay, so this looks really cool. It's big. It's probably going to hang over the top. Um, hmm. <laughs> Let me see. How would I want to do this? I might end up 
pruning it. Just put glue on the area of the card that's sticking up. Try not to get it on the face or the page. So like so. And if you can see that, I just have glue right there. And then, however I want to position this, Lay it there and then gently tap it so that it connects with the glue. We'll leave it for a second. Make sure you're not gluing everything down back there. And then you can press a little harder. Kind of wiggle the card out so that you're not gluing it down. And then you can pull it out for it to dry. And then again, you can do some, there's actually lines here that you can write something on. What's the purpose of making a pocket? with a card that you can write on and put in it? Well, it's fun. And I think that's all that we need. But sometimes it's fun to, to um, you know, build a space for your words to hide in. And why not? Sometimes you wanna write yourself a little note that only you know about and you can because this is your journal this glue I like it because it dries fast but it doesn't dry immediately so you still have like a few seconds to wiggle things around so they're not permanent yet until you get it just the way you like it Oh my gosh, I love it. Okay, so now let's push the background back and also give her a neck and shoulders by using another color. I already have these colors here, so I'm inclined to use them. I'm not sure how it's gonna look, but I'm just gonna jump in and try. I'm gonna use this yellow. I don't know what's going to happen. And Oof, I think it's too bright. I think I'd rather just use white. Although I could use black. Since I already have it out, I'll just use black. But if you, I mean, don't use that as a reason to not change your colors. If you want to add another color, if you'd rather do white, that is perfectly acceptable. Ooh, I wonder if I'm going to have to the card now so that it blends in probably okay I'm gonna leave it like that kind of messy kind of how you can see a little bit through the background just for fun. Let me scratch, scratch into it a little bit. Okay, gonna blow dry this and be right back. All right, so I'm gonna add a little bit of black right here so that the card blends into the background. So that's dry and now that's all done. And 
kind of silly and it's fun and I like it. So, um, like with the eyes, I add some charcoal pencil here. And then, let's see. I think I'll just leave it like that. You can add, you know, all your favorite little details and um, make it your own. But for now, I'm going to leave it right there. I want to thank you all again for showing up and joining me in this mixed media collage lesson. I loved showing you how to make faces into pockets and you can do this with any size face uh, you know you just have to make your note card smaller to fit in there you just use the same formula over and over you can use magazine faces um, you just have to be really careful about how thin your paper is for the face because if it's too thin it won't be sturdy enough to hold a card it won't be a good candidate for a pocket if the paper is really thin magazine paper. So um, yeah, I hope that you try this. Give me a shout out if you do. Um, you can find me more often over on Instagram at Amy Fig, and then my Etsy store Instagram is Book of Magic. And then um, yeah, take a look at the links in the description and see if you want to use any of my collage images that I have available for you. Thank you so much. Please like and subscribe, and I will see you next week in the next video. Bye-bye.